I request everyone to keep yourself on mute uh, unless uh, you have anything to say about. I'm just starting the YouTube live in a second. Ma'am, please let me know if you can see that the YouTube live streaming has started. It's live on us already. Okay, okay. Maybe it's taking a little time here. Yeah, just start the recording. Yeah, yeah. I'll do that. Somebody is on the I request room. everyone to keep yourself on mute for, unless uh, you have. Okay. So. We are already live. I'll just start the recording. So, so hi, hello. Good afternoon, good morning, everyone. Welcome to Homeopathy Musings. I, Dr. Manali Kesarkar, resident doctor at Healing Harmony, welcome you all today for today's session. And uh, I'll just give a little bit of introductions about uh, before we start for today's session. So we as Musings, uh, we have completed two years. And since the, since the lockdown that we were conducting these Musings every Saturdays, from that we have come to every first and third Saturdays of the month. And uh, over the past two years, uh, we had done a lot of uh, sessions throughout every month, plus many modules that we were doing uh, with, along with the musings, which were known as mammals module, mollusks module, uh, basics of com contemporary homeopathy, repertory intensive 1.0. Currently an ongoing module of repertory intensive 2.0 is still going on. We have still two sessions left with the speakers, two we have already completed. And these all musings and this all repertoire of learning that we had since the past two years is available with homeopathy musings. And if you all wish to anytime watch or view these recordings with us, uh, you can let us know. So you can attend the entire module. We have all the recorded sessions for your learning and all the uh, each musing session as well, which were done in the past by various speakers who had come on the platform, senior homeopaths, budding homeopaths who have been with us, uh, who have presented their cases, their learnings with us. These are all available on the repertoire of learning. So if you wish to watch these recordings or learn from them, you can reach out to us. Uh, along with this, we, as Dr. Prajakta told some time back, we have started this new learning known as Remedy of the Month for an in-depth learning. We have started this from the month of March with the first remedy being sulfur, uh, which we studied in in-depth in detail. And for this month, for the month of April, we have the remedy as boa constrictor. We, are, we will be studying boa from all its aspects, speed, keynotes, repertory, sensation, PM method. And you all can also come forward and share your learnings about BOA, your cases, your clinical experiences, your successful cases on the Musings group, or you could send it to us on our email ID, homeopathymusings at the gmail.com. And by the end of the month, we would compile all these data of BOA constrictor and send it and publish it in our newsletter so that it would be like a whole learning of BOA from all its aspects. So do contribute yours, uh, in this learning process that we have started, your experiences, your cases, which would be published on our newsletter by the end of the month. So uh, I'll, I'll share the musings, uh, WhatsApp musings uh, joining link. If some of y'all who are not there on the musings uh, WhatsApp group for continued learning and discussion and sharing of your cases on the WhatsApp group. Uh, also, like I told you all, we are already going on with this repertory intensive 2.0 module, uh, which is which has four different speakers 
and learning repertory from all different aspects. We had Dr. Arshi Tang, Dr. Alpe Shoza, Dr. Kushala Salyan, and Dr. Pallavi Chaturvedi as speakers. Uh, we have already completed and covered the topics of rapid prescribing and evolution of totality in fevers by Dr. Alpe Shoza and Dr. Arshi. Tomorrow, we have a session by Dr. Kushala Salyan on holistic use of repertory from going from symptom to system. And uh, next week, uh, next Sunday at 7 p.m., we have Dr. Pallavi Chaturvedi, who would be taking cases on applied man mind method, basically the HHF method. So if you still want to enroll for this session, you can join us anytime. These are individual sessions, so there is no continuity required as such. You can uh, take the entire session and view the recordings later on. The recordings would be available till for unlimited viewing until the for two months post the month of April. So till until the month of June, you would be able to view these recordings unlimited time and learn and uh, learn through these uh, speakers. And we also have a WhatsApp group created for. Uh, continued learning so that you could share and discuss your difficulties regarding repertory, rubrics, etc. If you still wish to join us for this course, do let us know. You could reach out to us anytime. And about today, today's speaker, we have Dr. Vishpala Parthasarthi. We need no introduction for Dr. Vishpala, ma'am. She is a senior homeopath. She is the editor of NJH Journal, chief editor. And uh, she has been having a vast experience with a uh, number of cases. She's been associated with musings since the start. And she, uh, her knowledge and her depth of learning and teaching is like really commendable. And we will look forward to learning today from ma'am as well about nosodes. And of course, like I told you all, today would be, there would be a surprise case as well, not related to the topic, but something out of the box that Dr. Uh, Vishpala would also be sharing. So we'll stay tuned for today's session. And I hope ma'am has joined. Uh, some basic hygiene factors, please mute your lines all the time during the session. If you wish to ask any questions, please raise your hands. We, we would ask you all to unmute one by one. Uh, you could make notes and share your experiences, keep it as an interactive session and moreover enjoy the session. If you have any doubts or difficulties, you can call or WhatsApp us on the following numbers of the coordinators or you could write to us on homeopathymusings at the rate gmail.com. Thank you so much. And uh, I guess ma'am has joined. Hi ma'am, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Manali. Good afternoon, Preeti, everybody. Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon. And the whole musings group, I'm so, I'm so happy to be here again with you all. And I follow you all for a long time. And uh, we are all together in this learning process. So yeah, whatever we do, if we share, then we all grow together. That has been our motto for always. And that is how we started uh, NGH, uh, you know, so many years ago, 92, and it is still going strong. And when we keep adding, the only best part about NGH is that it doesn't belong to any one school. So, you know, nobody feels that you have to only learn this. You can learn from everyone. That has been our motto. And that is why every group is, you know, so connected because we all know that we want to only grow and grow and grow. There's nobody here big, small, you know, medium, nothing like that. We are all at some point higher than the others and at some point lower than the others. It goes on. Yeah. I wanted to tell you like what I wrote in my editorial last time. This uh, issue was on Anakadiasi, uh, this last issue, which is actually going to come out tomorrow. So um, in the editorial, I wrote, you know, that I am at my age, which I must ask you all to guess because... Uh, uh, and then I will confirm. So uh, at my age, I'm still learning and still attending classes and whatever and sharing. So my husband tells me, how come you're doing all this? You know, I stopped after five years of uh, this thing. I said, maybe I'm just dumb and I'm stupid. So, you know, it takes me time or just that I'm in a field where you constantly require update and new things are happening all the time. 
And so we require it. So whatever way you may look at it, whichever way you want, but I am happy doing it. So I don't think anybody should have an objection to that, right? I'm spending time, I'm doing it. I'm not coming in anybody's way. So yeah, that is good enough, right? What do you all say? That true, not true. <laughs> yeah. I don't hear any response. Hmm? It's an entertaining thing, yeah. But everybody's done science. So they say it's all science. Hmm. Yes, yes, ma'am. And I think you are, uh, we've, we've um, grown up uh, attending your lectures, your seminars. I think all the homeopaths from our generation and now also, you know, people are learning from you. And I think you are a live legend to, you know, show that there is no age that, uh, you know, we should stop learning. We've seen you everywhere, wherever there is an opportunity, we see you that you're learning and we take that inspiration from you, ma'am. And we are so glad, so glad to have you here and you're sharing your experience. So we look forward to learn from you, ma'am. You know, that is what I, I keep saying that uh, long ago, say in 92 somewhere, I had gone for a seminar, you know, Kasim Bhai, uh, he does a workshop in Nagpur. So I had gone, he's part of our team. So I had gone there. And then so many young girls came and told me, ma'am, we've been, you know, learning. That's the time I really realized that we owe it. Now, today we have so many good, famous female homeopaths. A little bit uh, long ago, you know, 30 years ago, we didn't have so many. I said, we have to you know, show that how we can follow, how women can also do so much. And, uh, you know, everybody must. And so we must be better and better all the time. That. And in my class, of course, everybody said, oh, she can do it. I can also do it. If she can do it, I am only 45. I am only 50. I can. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yes, yes. For all of us, you are an inspiration. And you all are also inspiration for me, okay? <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. And uh, we look forward for the learning from you. Welcome. Okay. Welcome so, again. Thank you, ma'am. So today we've had lots of uh, gochis happening. Uh, but I won't bore you all with that. But I'm going to, uh, because of that, I am going to start first with the surprise item. Okay. What do you think the surprise item? Do you want me to start with the regular thing or surprise? Okay. So we'll do with the surprise. Actually, I'd forgotten I'd said surprise. I read this morning the creative and I said, oh, surprise, surprise. So I put it. So we'll start with the surprise case. Okay. And let me see how many people get that. Okay. That is part of your repertoire, so yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna start with that. Can I get shared? Yes, ma'am, I have given the permission, okay. if you could try. Fine. So here is a case, how mind reflects on the skin, okay? So here I had taken <clears throat> this case. Um, Can you see? Share, no, we, are, we still can't see okay. the screen. Okay, one minute. I know why I didn't do the share. Yeah, your desktop is visible now, ma'am. Yeah. You'll just have to make it PowerPoint. Now, can you see? Yes, it's visible. And now it's in the slideshow. Yeah, good. So here uh, was this. Uh, uh, I had done, in fact, this remedy, I have some four or five cases. So I was really excited about it because it's a remedy I had not even heard of a few years ago. So I was really happy to share this. So here was this uh, young woman, 41, and uh, she came to me for psoriasis. She's the eldest of three. She's an MBA and used to work in an IT firm, but left in May last year for various reasons, mainly because of the son. Her father is 74 heart patient, mother is 67 diabetic. So yeah, a lot of you can see a syphilitic tubercular kind of a pattern. So she was diagnosed with psoriasis in 2007. It was in uh, 2014, it got much worse when her brother died. It is much worse in winter and delivery. When it is dry, it cracks up and pains burning as if there is touching salt and lime. It's unbearable till it bleeds. 
skin is very hard like a stone aggravated warmth and better by cold actually in this case really because you know psoriasis i have cases where it takes sometimes so long to treat and this patient started improving in the first week and was much better like within 2 3 weeks so it was like very surprising she also has migraine since age of 22 pain is in the temple summer sun even in home if the sun is too much so yeah natrumur comes to mind throbbing nausea heaviness worse afternoon 10 to 2 typical time sleep thunder noise anything anything so right now she phoned me today also that i am not got much headache but the sun is bothering me a little bit so eat better in the evening better pressure better dark better sunset so occipit is very heavy and she wants to cry at that time lot of bloating as if it is trapped in the body herbs and flatus digestion is weak so she is short 54 yeah so more well built normal build nails are brittle lots of moles on the face and she got some removed in a 97 and 214 so old ones are coming back so you can see she got a different uh, fundamental myism but she is getting psychotic now kind of mouth is dry feet cold shivers and puts a blanket but sweat in the axilla and in stress craving for ice three months she today also told me in the morning that i'm just the heat has started i'm just craving ice food one after another i feel good but then it hurts my teeth chalk and mud slate milk butter cheese so lot of cravings lot of things which will make us think of in the old days of calcarea medorinum natrum you so she had a job and a career but she kind of gave it up but she is career oriented she is all the time feeling that i am not working i am feeling guilty she can't manage both because the child falls sick and whole night would be coughing he is also much better today Uh, that's a very interesting case. I've given him sister scandals, so patient would get very irritated. Child, after that she was not ready for another one. Then eight years later she had child number two. So she says, "I have to do right. I can't be wrong." Her dreams are of missing exam, journey left behind, and her fears are of separation, failure, alone, people dying, fear. What if my father dies? Fear, what if I die of heart attack, and who will look after my children? Oh, let's look at her life space. Hmm? So, childhood was in Patiala. Joint family, all good, nothing bad. Mother also regretted for not working, but I always told her she must work. Brother and sister not good at study, so were beaten by mother. I would feel feel very bad for them, but I was never beaten because you know I would avoid that. I would. Uh, try to avoid anything to avoid beating this reminded me of magnish sister is fine she, she didn't mind the beating even today if you are talk to her she has no grudges she said but i felt very guilty when they were being beaten i have lots of grudges because the house my mother since she had not studied and not worked she was all the time about studies only topic was a studies and we lived in a house uh, in the city few months mother would go to the village because he was a farmer so father and he would go and their aunt means father's brother's uh, wife would look after them village was about 25 km village school also was not good but aunt was really not good to them she had one daughter so she was jealous and would favor her child my sister was the youngest and very naughty the same sister would didn't carry twitches grudges so she would shout at her so the story was like this joint family actually resources were limited i mean but they were joint so this house didn't really belong to the uncle but they were always told look look our resources are limited come and eat or you get over then we were told that we are living in their house so we are obligated to them we watch tv only when they were not watching or use bathroom at their convenience cousin was bigger so we own the house and so it's superior so we felt inferior or only one cousin was our age and we would say come and play uh, sorry that not play play and she would not come and she would make us wait and when she came she would leave so we were very neglected and very suppressed this uncle 
kaka chacha was a big officer so he was very dictatorial he would give us only that one room there were many rooms that they would lock them and say no no they can't be used it was actually the grandparents house but they also never said anything so my whole feeling all through life was that you have to become an officer earn money then only people will listen to you mother was actually educated more than other sisters in law but she was not allowed to work so she was very strict about study father was busy in his work farmer stayed in a village and when mom uh when mom was here he would come every weekend father strict so they were scared of him but he never beat us up so what did you feel when your sister and brother were beaten up by the mother i felt bad and both cried bitterly i would hide feel responsible wanted to help but was helpless i taught the sister even today i can't see anybody crying i feel i have done bad so mother lived in punjab till i was in the 10th standard then they moved to the city and we bought our own house so in the 10th standard she felt first time we had our own room own space it was the happiest time of our life mother loved that house and it was very well maintained then about the siblings there's a thing i told you her psoriasis increased when this brother died at 38 he did law not really very good but whatever he was good at he did not pursue and uh, bhabhi was the was very rich her father was an officer so only officers are good people so they she wanted him to be an officer in ias so all life he was studying studying trying to do this ias people sometimes fail two times three times four times that they still go on with it even when two kids he is still studying because his wife wants it then she said let's go to canada and they went to canada and then he died so you know she feels that uh, you know that the baby killed him so she is very grudging about her now that baby comes six months here six months there and all that and whenever she comes her mother likes that baby because again they are rich so i asked her uh, did you do love marriage or this she said no yes in 2004 what did you like about it he was very confident he works in a bank as risk risk containment he's doing very well so are you happy he said he's a very angry type when loses he shouts as if you know we are from the road side as if we are fill and there is no financial issue but he gets angry over little trifles and spoils everything screaming throwing things and till goes on and on till we all apologize to him even if we are not at fault i have suppressed my anger he takes it out and then he is fine once he is shouted he is fine but for me it stays all the time and then i react disproportionately and so yeah what remedy you think which kingdom comes from sweeps grudges sensitive reactive yeah so what the husband liked about you i looked good he is not handsome apparently he was quite ugly actually he had a skin issue face was wrinkled ear lobes were long but i never judged him and went beyond his outer looks i studied well came out respected family means all mother had studied so yeah no smoking drinking so he liked her how i feel i weep i just am amazed how can go so out of control i feel so helpless stuck in a situation with no escape daughter if she does she just cries she cannot do anything and he won't let her cry if anyone cries he shouts and later i feel like talking about it but then no he will again you know not be able to communicate he blame me so all the time she feels blame or she herself blames herself so that is her whole situation very angry and because now she has no job so feels very dependent she says i don't even go to buy vegetables he says he will do it he only we travel he'll book hotels ask for discount earlier i was very independent travel all on my own and now i really feel different so i like dogs because they are loving loyal and emotional i don't like crocodiles who live in mud and look dirty and marshy places and scales fear lizards because their lines are so repulsive i hate rats because they bite into anything i have fear of being beaten up fear of being beaten with a stick 
fear dark alone being injured abused rudeness i mean stomach if anybody shouts i have a lot yeah any remedies come to mind current relationship with mother actually is not as good as i thought because i thought the house was very good but i have become so ocd that i find that house very cluttered and she is all the time trying to please that babi who killed her, her brother her husband so she's that babi has a very strong personality and she mother tries to impress her she has an aura about her as if she's great so it leaves you with the feeling that she doesn't feel herself great right i feel jealous and angry i have not forgiven her for my brother's death i just want her to leave and go back to canada she had done nothing in her life but she talks as if she's great and knows everything actually it was not even his dream it was her dream but she said oh brother's dream be at least managed i'm so emotional so sensitive that i cannot succeed at anything i can do much more but i did not i did not communicate not be so reactive i feel i should handle things better even my maid i don't handle so well <clears throat> i need to feel not so overwhelmed with work means she couldn't manage work and the son falling ill and she's all the time anxious get very anxious catching flight eating whether when i have a party whether food will be sufficient will people like it i act like a kid sometimes if don't like someone i won't talk to so these were the lots of rubrics i took ma'am yeah there are a few suggestions shall i take them yes please yeah so on the chat box few are saying stapis agria some are coming to animal kingdom uh dr kinnari singh lag defloratum lag felinum lag humanum uh carcinosin even dr arti singh sensitivity of plant guilt feeling fifth subclass which subclass which subclass fifth fifth okay and uh, a few on youtube chat we have dominated by father and mom obsessive compulsive disorders and one missing plant kingdom only so there which is the kingdom let's get it all clear we have had uh, we have had all i think no we've had mainly animal and plant yeah so, yeah so tell me definitely not mineral you're ruled out because of the sensitivity and no real structure okay fine now tell me between animal and uh, plant plant is it has more sensitivity plant like and many people have said plant yeah so it is plant right because she herself says i'm so sensitive i react so much i can't do it i can't and she except being jealous of the sister in law she is not really done anything to put her in put us in animal kingdom she is not showing she is saying that yeah she says sister in law thinks she is great but at the most you can think of lack like canine and maybe because she feels definitely inferior and all but i still think it was not so much as the plant kingdom because there was too much sensitivity and especially this times repertorization was really like surprising so you all have said staphis agria yeah she keeps suppressed that is true but also what is that feeling she has what is this feeling in her Staphis agria is which myasm? So she is OCD, yes. And she wants things in order, yes. Um, uh, a person is saying the uh, Staphis agria is cancer myasm. Correct. So you may think of cancer, but what is the more this thing myasm which coming? <clears throat> what does he think of herself mam typhoid dr kiran chanbagi singh typhoid dr can singh. you describe piper to me a bit please and many are saying psychotic psychosis because of the warts and she removed them yes but yeah can be mm-hmm. tell me piper please somebody tell me more about piper mam uh, 
sorry, not Piper. Dr. Kiran Shanbat said about typhoid myosin. Typhoid, okay. okay. Yeah. yeah. She's trying, yeah, to get, but I think she's very anxious. And she constantly wants her son to be better. No, he's not better. She'll start only with not, you will not believe her first follow-up. Uh, you know, she said, you know, yeah, this is, you know, this is there and this is there. And I could see her hands and I said, how's your skin? Oh, that is 90% better. Can you believe it? I mean, sorry, I says, and it's 90% better. And she's not telling, yeah, that is better. Even today. So I, when she said the sun is troubling me, this ice is troubling me. So, uh, you know, and I can't, it's like an addiction. I must have the ice. I must have the ice. She's telling me today. So I said, yeah, but how is the skin? Oh, that, except for maybe two, three percent, it is fine. So it is, it was really funny. So ma'am, uh, with respect to typhoid myosin, Dr. Kiran said, uh, she said, I have to work hard to get results. Yeah. And Dr. You have to work hard to get results, but is she working hard? See, she just gave up her job. Everybody will try if she's in a company which is good these days with the lockdown, this, that. I mean, she could have easily said, I'll do online, I'll do half. The people were so adjusting in these times. She could have done. But she just said she can't manage and she feels so low and she feels this and she feels that and husband shouts and this and that. So, yes, so typhoid goes on, goes on working and says, yes, I will get well. And also screams and shouts about how well they are, both. The psychotic, psychotic goes very down. She is down, but it's little more than that. Tell me. Uh, so Dr. Padmaja Rao said, uh, because she wants to have her own house and there is a lot of avoidance, he thinks it is psychotic. I'm not saying psychotic. And the words, I'm not saying psychotic is not there. But here, the fears were so much and the weeping and the pessimism and the fear and trembling and not respond telling anything and how she was treated at the uncle's house and how she is treated by her mother now with the, the Abhabi being put up on a pedestal and nowhere and she's done MBA it's not that she is you know a small education it's a big education but does she have that feeling about her no so which myism uh, Dr. Kiran is now saying leprous yes. uh, inferiority Yes, but how long it took you to get to leprous? <laughs> Much. Okay. So it is leprous myosin. So now tell me which um, family? We've come to plant, we've come to leprous. Very good. Now? So Chitra is saying Mozod. <laughs> Dr. Karishma is saying Ranan Okay. But she's coping, right? Ranunculacy is subclass one, right? So subclass one is a little bit not here, no? not here, right? Up there, we can't see that kind of connection. She's here, she's connected with her husband and very practical also, you know, that uh, she, um, she chose a husband who was good in family-wise and money-wise and all that. And though he was ugly, she didn't mind that. And she said, okay, I'll adjust, but I must get her. She was she's clear that she wants to be a little bit secure and, you know, that kind of a thing. Um, uh, Dr. Sakhi Wo is saying Solani se family. And okay. Dr. Kiran is saying Anakardi se family because she's stuck. Okay, so that is the only thing stuck. And the skin. But what is the Anakardi se? After that, what happens? She, we don't have any other modalities, na? After the anacardiacy, the stuck feeling is there, which is true, but stuck is there in so many of all the leprous have struck. Uh, Dr. Shir Shankar is asking, kingdom, kingdom approach versus repertorial approach, which one is ideal? Oh, uh, no, both. I do both. See, I've given you so many. I take 30 rubrics and see, sometimes it comes up with such a good thing. Yesterday, I must tell you a case or even today a okay. case. It was amazing. So yesterday we had this case, we are struggling with for very long. And, uh, you know, he has so many things. He's schizophrenic. He has some back problem. He has some, some stomach problem. He has some stool problem. He hates his mother because she was beautiful and she became an actress and he felt she neglected him. So all these various things. 
then and we can't get to talk to the family all the time now he yesterday he phoned us day before and said that i have pain in the stomach and it's too much and i told my brother and we are going to go and get investigated maybe at surgery are what is there in the stomach so then we spoke to the mother so he we asked the mother again why did does he say that why did he say nobody attends to me i can't do that i can't have a bath because i can't sit on the bathroom i can't stand i can't sit and nobody will help me he said no no he the boy is very willing to help him but he doesn't want a boy he wants a girl and we've had girls but they just go away because he wants them to do everything change him wear his clothes you know so we understood that there's lot at his age which is now quite a lot 40 41 whatever it means he's done nothing much in his life he's just sitting he is wanting to be touched and the sexual and the gas which is stuck and all that and you won't believe in the repertory it was it was the sixth remedy but it was the same marks raffinus and we've today give him raffinus and raffinus in the family comes right down when the masculinity starts and the sexual urge is too much you know we didn't know that about raffinus i've only prescribed all my life for stuck gas but now that we understand the fourth column and you know it came to raffinus it was very beautiful i'm sure we'll get a result i have just given it today so i cannot tell you but you know today also we had sometimes these things don't come out easily today we had this girl now she's from calcutta now she's come here she's coming every saturday i go to the clinic so she's coming and interview and we say we taken her case so much why is she coming again and again and again and then today she told me again that she is with this boy and that boy has told her you get out and first she lived with him and she was almost married then came to know is married and i said i'll never go to him again but she gone last week she told us no no i will never go to him now he just uses me so i said you met him yeah yeah i met him and where did you meet him no i met him first at the bar now for very long ago another then she said no this week also i went to him why did you and i was intimate also so we understood so much that she wants so then i went in only sexual uh, history and i said that do you masturbate when did you start it she said from the second standard she started masturbation now she said how much you going to ask me now you know everything about me i never told this to anybody and her face would become red and so she is this lean thin thing and all we didn't know how she felt about herself so asked how you feel about yourself and went on and on and on about it and i said realize she's sexual she is very sexual and every person she meets I, okay this boy i went with yesterday no i allowed i was crying so he held me then i allowed him to touch me so it was very sexual and where did you meet him and she said i met him at nakala goda where in a theater she picks up guys like that so it was and then how do you feel about yourself so which is the remedy there you think anyway i uh, and then she is lean thin but she studied and so you have lot of highly sexual thing and then a uh, lot of uh, image this thing that she is good but she is scared and the father is to shout at her so why did he shout why can't he just explain and mother said i'll never get you married because you you, you know you are no good so this sexual thing something her mother knows nothing much and then i've today given her lot of uh, masturbation lot of nymphomania so you have remedies like oregano valeriana so many coming up but i gave her platina and she wants to talk 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 and the rubrics covered also were beautiful so i go both by that and the kingdom and it okay coming back to this case so here we've decided now we have to only do so somebody said yes we have so many fears just see how many fears we have so many fears it will go to solen ac right now if you have solen ac and you have uh, uh, leprous then what is the remedy lot of fear heart chakra who likes it whole person will fall down dependent confidence less blame failure continuously be blamed so status agree and mandragora i thought of so here the best part of we here is just see this was beautiful for me now you think you are with solanaceae so here you have tremonium with 
and here you have mandragora with 15 but because it uh, you know total is less that it comes so far it was amazing that you had mandragora in the repertory like this it covers more than stramonium which is also a miracle i did lots of work on it and did more and more repertorization with physicals and mentals and all that so pulsatile and saphisiac they cover everything psych subtenance cannot defend itself subclass one not so much so i felt yeah maybe staphysagria but then i did not give i finally gave her mandragora and you should see the beautiful beautiful result so she had come on 15 1 by uh, 7 3 the skin is almost normal you know i told you today she told me only 2 percent and uh, it's now we have to only treat this few things. So that was the case. So I was quite happy with this. And I have five cases of mandragora. It's amazing results, all of them. I wanted to do that, but I thought it's not uh, this thing. She wanted me to do no swords. Yeah. So we have to ask Fatima doctor to come in. Has Fatima come in? Yes, I'm there. Yeah, okay. So I will stop my sharing. I told you we had some goji, so she has to show you the right. So now we will start our no swords. Into current, uh, yeah. There is a question. Why thyroidinum? Thyroidinum, because that thyroid one are setting with the mandragora. So I sometimes give intercurrents like that. full screen what happens slide shows down so first we'll talk about uh, any other questions of that case anything else you're happy with it or not hello hello Yeah, ma'am, no questions as such. Uh, ma'am, uh, yeah, doctor, I read the incomplete question. Why thyroidinum, madam? Because carcinosin was scoring high. Yeah, correct. But, uh, it, and also with the OCD and all that. But I find in practice that uh, if I have thyroid, which is not responding to the uh, very well indicated remedy, then I give thyroid. Also, she is hypothyroid. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so, uh, you know, long, long, long ago, in 95, we wrote this book, my mother and I, uh, no sort the pacemakers of our materia medica. We are sorry, we've done this in a little bit of a hurry. So, some spelling is Fatima, next slide. So, this is the, you know, no swords. They've always actually been used as intercurrent remedies or pacemakers, as my mother, Dr. Sanasanana named a famous book published posthumously in 1995. So it's a very interesting book. Some of you may have read it uh, because it's long, long ago. And uh, yeah, next. So it intercurrent remedy, we all know. I'm not going to talk too much about to help the similarum work better. It is called uh, intercurrent. And it steps in a no sort, the pacemaker, which you know, allows you the action of the remedy to be a bit better. Sometimes we begin a case with a no sword and sometimes we give it intercurrent to react, uh, we get the vital reaction aroused and all the suppressed symptoms they surface and both the disease and the drug picture clear up. The indicated and well-selected remedy then starts to act and the recuperative powers are strengthened and the patient starts rallying. Improvement is accelerated and the patient is well on the road to recover. How many of you have read this little booklet? Some of you maybe. It's long ago, right? So that's why I thought I'll show you some pictures from there. So then steps in a no sword, the pacemaker, so that the vital reaction is aroused, all suppressed symptoms surface, and both the disease, everything clears up, 
And so aren't they truly the pacemakers of our material? Slide. They have been much maligned because they originate from the filth, so to speak. Morbid matter of disease itself, a product from death. Yeah, we have taken morbid matter. So use these products as healers, goes against the grain of the orderly and the fastidious mind, which throws off even the daily dust collected in the home. But we homeopaths know better than to malign them. Next. So whether derived from purest gold or purest filth, a gratitude for the excellent service forbids us to inquire or care, said J.B. Bell. So, you know, the interesting part, only I'm not giving the whole book to you, just a little glimpse, evolution of each nursehold from childhood to old age. This was her speciality. She liked to do all remedies like that and to draw structures. Yeah. So this is Sorinum, children of the lesser God. You know what we know about Sorinum, dirty, chilly, scratching all the time, clad in clothes that hang loose over their puny bodies, hungry even the midst of the night while eternally scratching. Next. So then the adolescents with body image distorted, dermatosis assorted, pruritus unbearable, allergies ad infinite. Next. No brains, no vision, no gain. Misery is my middle name. They are the most pessimistic remedy in the whole Materia Medica Soya. Next. And the adult stagnates in low clerical job because they never have the, you know, the guts to go ahead and say, no, 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 I'm happier with no responsibility, no thinking, no caring for others, no answerableness to anybody. I still remember my mother had a patient like that. He whole life, he said, you don't get a promotion. No, no, I get every time I reject it. Stagnates and low clerical jobs. Yeah. So old age is the still grumbler. He still, everybody cares for him, but he makes a mess. And then he says, very, the master of the art of making life miserable for himself and for others. So this is a small picture. There's no write up, but I wanted to only show you pictures. Next. Then carcinosin like that. Cancer is a crab that bites backwards, a flower that shrinks back into its seed. Like carcinosin child. Cafe Ole, we all know the complexion. Glands, warts, neve, moles. Taps with toes, music in his soul. So here somebody who gave that thyroidinum can we write that carcinosin even as warts, right? So we'll keep that in mind. Then too much, too much, carries too far, pushes too hard, like some small car with oversized engine, a crusader, a martyr, a fundamentalist, fundamentalist of a kind, falls victim to his own zeal to undo all, undo all that he had gained. You do too much and then whatever you do is not is discounted because you are doing too much. Next. Very rigid, you know, walks in a straight line. And once he decides, he does that only. Next slide. And a Brahmin, because finally he's a healer, he's a doer, he does things lots for people. So a Brahmin and a Karma Yogi. Next. So calcinosin versus other nodes, so more complex than tuberculinum, less obstinate, insomniac as only luticum can be. Uticum is syphilinum, yet never a dipsomaniac because he's so straightforward and so straight line today. If tuberculinum asserts her will in forceful yes or no, Medoronum says, oh, maybe so. So Rhinum says either maybe this or maybe that. Then scratches his head again, maybe not that. Carcinosin says perhaps and resumes his work as before. He doesn't even bother to give much attention to it. Next. Lady Carcinosin. There are many a breast tumors, malignant and varicose veins with multiple points. Plants indurate and are painful indeed. Discharges most found from Carcinosin lycra. 
give carcinosin for pain and bloody discharge homeopathy can palliate when not cure this cancerous no soul is true euthanasia indeed slide okay so that was carcinosin now medorine we have, there are five no souls in that we have not done all i didn't want this to be the whole thing I just wanted to give you some highlights so medorine child we know loves food right Colic, asthma, aneurysis, worms. It draws the limbs high and buries the face into the pillow when I needs a dose of medorinum. He always sleeps with his feet curled up like fetal position. Even asthma is better like that. Okay. Drops, he breaks everything in his haste and wastes some of his traits. So, you know, Medorinum has a thing. If he's walking like this, he says, okay, if I'm doing alternate, he'll step only an alternate thing. Or if I'm walking, I will touch that railing everywhere. I can't. Otherwise, he'll go back and touch all of it again. And also very clumsy. Drops things, walks, we see his feet, falls, injuries, fractures. Yeah. Next. A lovely lassie, young and plump, even stocky, freckles sprinkling her skin, otherwise clear, if smitten with the virus of the big G, which is gonorrhea, then she drowns herself in a flood of tears, embarrassed as if with guilt and shame. Because it's not due to her fault. She carried it from her parent and she carries a cross forever this day. Next. Obstipation. You lean far back. And bowels are so obstinate, they refuse to move unless Mrs. Medorinum leans far back. I think it's quite fun. And, uh, you know, this was a, also an issue. And this was on the cover. All the green vegetables, big, big thing, big appetite, big man with a lot of hair, bald hair, but everywhere else hair. So you can immediately think of Medorinum. I don't know. Next. Mrs. Medorinum, sterility, again and again and again, she has an abortion, but she doesn't get a child, tumors, menstrual anomaly. Can Medorinum give this poor woman a family tree? She had no children. So here were the various remedies. Uh, I won't read them. There are too many. Okay. Now, I want to do another highlight of this book. There were two highlights. Okay, the second one I'm not doing. Maybe you can read it later. It can't take too much. The courtroom drama she had done. If supposing every every Mozart goes to court, how will they behave? So you have Sorinam, a vagrant who comes in with pretty petty offenses in order to get into jail because he wants that out of the cold and for a square meal. So that is Sorinam. He's there in the uh, courtroom. Tuberculinum, a psychopath. He's such a nice man. He could not have done those horrible, dreadful things. Such a good-looking man, so well-dressed, so charming. So he arouses general sympathy, especially from the ladies in the first row, and is remanded for a medical checkup. They don't put him in prison. They send him for a checkup because maybe he didn't do all of it. Next. Medorinum, a sexual offender who pleads guilty. He doesn't like publicity, unlike tuberculinum. So he says, okay, okay, I only am guilty to, allow, uh, to avoid a prolonged trial. Next. Encephalinum, a forger, a gangster, a con man, remanded to higher court, whence he will probably acquit it for lack of evidence because he's bribed or intimidated the witnesses. He's, he's really cunning and really, really bad guy. So people are scared of him. Doesn't think anything of getting a knife and, you know, threatening you with it. Okay, so these were, Carson Osin is, of course, the judge because he has to be the one who will give the judgment, right? So this was a courtroom. And the other next thing, interesting, very interesting, was of, uh, from Mahabharat. You know, from Draupadi, of course, was Platina. Uh, and, and then the others, uh, were all new sword they gave. I'm not going to tell you. Now we'll take up, Two cases, okay? So you have to tell me which you, now you already tried no so there, but that was a surprise. Now you have to tell me about 
these remedies. So he was a young boy. He was in the ninth standard. He came to us in 18, some five, six, four, five years ago. He came to the clinic with, um, with his mother, who was a patient many, many 20 years before that. So his complaint was difficulty in concentration, no confidence, restless, understanding is below his age and he was diagnosed as learning disabled. Next, he feels not com competent, no confidence at all. He cries and upset, feels rejected, doesn't trust himself. He says, I'm very doubtful. I can't express. And every time there was an exam or something, there'd be panic in the house. You know, the only thing she told me first month after giving the remedy was that this time we had exams and we didn't even know it. There was no panic. So sleep is decreased. He doesn't sleep for days, so anxious before exams. So all his thing is about knowledge, attitude, all this thing, ability, behavior, competence, so on. Yeah, next. So here I told you the mother was my patient. When she came to me first time, she was really a right Maharashtrian girl. She was a girl then, very beautiful, very competent, competent, successful. Today, she is the breadwinner. The father we saw sitting outside in the waiting room. I couldn't believe it. He sat like one teddy bear. I'm talking about 20 years, 20, whatever, 30 years ago. And he just sat dark, stocky. You know, there was no gumption in him, no nothing. And today also, nothing. He doesn't do anything. He tries one business up on another, fails, then starts another thing. Anyway, so uh, she wanted to marry him. We don't know why. And then, but her parents said no, he was a, a Catholic and a Christian. And uh, they so they got her married to somebody in Delhi. She had a very bad time when she came back. And I had, a, and then came back and married this guy. I had, of course, that time only predicted difficulties in the marriage. Anyways, it happened like that. But you can't tell them, no, don't marry this guy. How can you tell them? So patient born in 2003, poor in school. Uh, 2014 teacher wonder you score 80 percent or else you are not in the school anymore. So mother was scared and to maintain that she beat aggressive beat her aggressive in studies but patient could not cope. Changed school to 2014 to a normal school, IG IGCSC. Principal was good cooperative and this I'm talking about the son. Huh? This son, not about the girl, the mother. Mother was very clever. So. Advised the Nair hospital test for LD. Nair was not so cooperative, harassed them. They finally consulted one psychiatrist in March 18, and he said that there is learning disability. Next. He said, not autistic, he's got LD. The advantage is learning disability, so he can be given a separate class in the exam for the rest of the teachers and little half an hour extra. Sometimes they even give you a writer. So March 18, he was sent to tuition classes for biophysics and math, but he could not understand normal. Frustrated, very low, unsure, completely lacking. So what does this child come from? You have a mother who's very competent, who's working, running the house, who's doing everything, and the father who's just trying one business after another and not really contributing. And also they have to take care of the inmates. Okay, so then after that in March 18, they started counseling slowly improvement. Then suddenly the mother remembered us after 20 years and came to us and that hastened the clinic. Okay, next. Next slide. So patient is lean and weak, moles on the face. Here is the patient, eruptions on forehead and dandruff, habit of nail biting, hypermetropia, very thick glasses. Appetite is increased, craving for salt, sweets, fish, fried ice cream. He has difficult stools. Sleep is disturbed and refreshing. My mind is not allowing me to sleep, the child said. You know, when she told me this whole story, I expected the child to not be able to talk to us. But he came and actually gave us a good history. He said, I have these thoughts all the time of failure. I don't like to dream because of nightmares, which are unremembered. I like to daydream. I want to do this, that, you know, that I've done this. And... Fan, he likes medium, covers head at times, feet are uncovered. He thinks sulfur maybe more. Sensitive, calm, patient, brooding, weeping, suppressed emotion, loves animals and birds, 
His ambition is to have a farm. He said many animals. And he loves art. Anxiety, I've already told you how he panics. So he took fear exam, fear of old, fear in dark, horror movies, mysteries. Complete lack of self-confidence. But he talked and gave us a good history. He values fitness. He avoids junk food. He likes music. He likes being hugged. He likes hard work, planning, but he can't do all of it. Likes consolation and being taught. But he always thought, what will he do? What will he do? Mother's pregnancy history, bleeding. So she was scared, very scared. Nothing should happen to the baby. She was advised bed rest. She did bed rest, but she worked till delivery. The placenta was low lying, cramps. And then so she, uh, cesarean was done. And baby was 26 days premature, lactation for nine months. And he would fall asleep even during lactation. So we took that as very done. Only that one delivery, only that single child, birth weight 2.3, dentition five months, walking one year, speech 10 months. So milestones seem kind of normal. And blood, bladder control, she trained before one year. Okay, so he had dengue. That time he got eucatorium. Okay, family history, of cancer of the lung, diabetes and hypertension. After hearing the history, seeing the child sitting, I had little expectation to give me a coherent history. Next. But the boy of 15 actually gave me a very comprehensive history. He expressed his fears well, his panic before exam when he went for tuition. He said, I just cannot understand anything they teach. So before exam in such panic, I cannot sleep all night. What will I do? If I fail, I'll get shouted at. He's very scared of reproaching and scolding. I feel so worthless. So these are the rubrics we took. Shame, despair, reproaches, ailments from artistic, yeah, stop it. So, what is the remedy ah, you think of? Yeah, so, medorinum and carcinosin. Hey, very ah. good. So, how will you differentiate the two? Yeah. Dr. Shiv Shankar has raised ah. his hand. Uh, Dr. Shiv Shankar, you can unmute yourself and uh, answer ma'am's question. Yes, madam. Generally, medarinum and carcinogen comes closely, madam. Well, because you... both of them have because both of them have anticipation, fears. But generally, medarinum patients are they are also sensitive like carcinogen, but they're aggressive. Yes. They are medarinum patients are aggressive, but carcinogen patients more of you know very mild yielding. Uh, they are more artistic. Yes. Uh, that kind of, you know, the refinement is more with the carcinogen. Yes. Medarinum patients, less refinement. Yes. But here the anticipatory was a lot. His craving for food also was a lot. And in the repertory, what will come, you think? And carcinogen is also, yes, but the panic of carcinogen, I always feel that they are little more stable, little more mature, little more adult. And, you know, they, 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 they manage a situation. This fellow can't cope at all with the situation. Yes? Okay. 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 Yeah. Next. Next. So, uh, Madam. Huh? Uh, Madam, Dr. Padma Jan here. Yeah. Uh, I think I thought that uh, medorenum and carcinosin, mm. but carcinosin a little bit more because uh, you thought that uh, you said that he's avoiding junk food and he wanted to be a little perfectionist. Yeah. And uh, family history is also of cancer is there. So maybe carcinosin in place of my friends. Right. Mm -hmm. So I want to just show you this repertorial working. So, you know, the artistic, which we don't think in medorinum was very high. And so also in carcinosin, I hope you can see the slide properly. So carcinosin had 17 marks as to 25 of uh, medorinum. And if you see the rubrics covered, confidence, Want of both cover, psychological theme both cover, helplessness again both cover. And then you have discussed himself with, which is more medorinum, and shame. Again, of course, carcinosin will also cover, and despair both cover. Then you have failure again both cover, 
then you have disgust, which is not there again in carcinogen. Reproach is again covered by both. Then examination fears again covered by, I think this, yeah, carcinogen covers that. But disgust carcinogen does not cover it. So plans makes many. He thinks of this, he'll do this, he'll do that, and all that, and neither cover that. Uh, arrest, anxiety when time is set. Again, medorinum covers that, and carcinosin does not. Slowness, both cover. Music, both cover, which is like really surprising. And then loathing of self. Then that slow speech, but he gave a good history. Fear of dark. You know, that slow speech, again, carcinosin may cover, may not cover. Fear alone being carcinosin covers medorinum. Love animals for. Now, love animals, I know in the, even in our Osot book, medorinum can be cruel and poke the dog with his, no stick in the anus. But uh, love for animals, he, he has. So both cover. And then you have sympathetic, compassionate, surprisingly medorinum covers and so of course there's carcinosis. So, you know, the thing was, it was so much weighted there that I just gave medorinum because 25 and 17, some disgust and all, which is not being covered by carcinosis. And even then you have an idea of carcinosis where, you know, little more just not so panicky, little more adult and so much uh, leprosy kind, leprous kind of a thing he discussed for himself and all that. So we gave him, yeah, we gave him medorinum. Okay, next. Next slide. So first and only prescription. Here on the creative side, he wants to be an actor, all of this and that. Previous slide, please. So what happened? Yeah, so here he wanted this anticipatory anxiety, panic and all that and love for food. So I gave day one, med I wanted to give 1M, but sometimes I give this 200 day one and then day two I give 1M so that there is no aggravation. You know, it's like a step thing. Day two I give medorinum and that's it, almost that's it. Next slide. So then they said immediately better concentration, anxiety, SN. And he was really, really well. Today we are four years down. We are still in touch. Uh, they, the mother and the son, and so to the grandmother, mother's mother. They have moved to Chennai because he decided he wants to pursue music in a music school. And it's only there in Chennai. And he's doing very well. He feels no pressure, focus improved. Mother said this was a different experience for us. No panic. He studied on his own, managed everything, slept well, went without tension to the exam. It was like magic, mother said. You know, people always criticize and laugh at us because we say magic, but it really, people come and say it to us. So when the patient came to us, we asked him to give mark to his improvement. He said, oh, marks, 100 marks. I'll give homeopathy 100 marks on 100 marks. That was nice. That was nice. So, uh, yeah. He got C after F and a D. I mean, for a month, this was really good. He also calm, not in a panic state. During exam, very calm. So I wanted to show you that we said no, so, no, so. But this was his remedy. So this was a healer remedy, not just an intercurrent remedy. And he could finish both his papers, which he would never be able to finish. So then he is, he never repeated much at all, except this day one day two. Then he was, he feels he's not appreciated. He wants to prove himself, show everyone he can do better. He did well. He's overall better by 70%, though he gave us 100 marks. He said 70. Okay, next. Uh, he has lots of plans. Yeah, we have to figure out. So once we gave him for something zero by five, for a few 15 days. Uh, for, yeah. So prelims, no panic, cyclic, very relaxed, did good in exams. You have a very happy pass. He scored 60%. Then he got a little acne and a macule. We gave some biochemic. Yeah. Just helped. Next. 
I show you everything. I can just have said one thing and everything was well. But sometimes you have these little things. So uh, he dreams of flying monkey and that acne didn't get control. He said he was very tired. And uh, so we gave repeated medorinum. But this was in 19 after a year. So you have a video, I think. He's saying something. He looks so much more different than that first photograph I showed you. Okay. You can play the video. Yes, I'll just try. Dr. Fatima, you will have to share the sound as well. Yes, I am going to try that because... He wants to become a conductor. I guess it's playing in the background, and we can just see your. Folder from which you had opened it. Hmm. Just one minute. Now, can you see anything? Now, maybe you minimize this folder so that okay. maybe if it is playing at the back, like just minimize the entire. Folder. Okay, use one screen sharing. He probably wants to become a conductor or at least playing a big orchestra. Uh, so we are a fan of Indian classical or gospel band, and everybody is fun. Thank you. Are able to see it? It's a very common activity, just like playing instrument, but playing instrument is another story rather than just singing, which anybody can do nowadays. Or anybody. You cannot see, right? Uh, no, no. It's okay. We just heard it. That's fine. Okay. Forget it. But we heard him saying he wants to be a composer and, and he's really pursuing his dream. I mean, what else can you want for a fellow who didn't know whether he wanted a farm, whether he wanted to do anything at all, not do anything at all. What would he do? But to go away, live, you know, and the mother said, no, no, it's okay. And how will the husband manage if you're living here? She said, no, let him manage however he wants. So she's not sending money there also because she has, cannot run to him. And uh, she is, um, yeah. So the mother and son are, uh, means her husband and his mother-in-law are living in Mumbai and managing, however. And she's already been there now for a year or more, two years. So very well. Okay. Full screen. So another case, yeah. So here, this was an 80 or very interesting case, a very interesting old man. So he's 80 years old, he came to me about a couple of years, two years ago. And uh, he's a PhD in physics and he's now living here in Mumbai and they are involved in some music group and they do everything. And um, he comes to me, you know, he stitches his own clothes and he came to me in a purple shirt with a jacket and I mean, it was amazing, really amazing. I wish I could show you his picture. Okay. And he's done physics and he's doing music. Next slide. 
So his complaint was right side back and thoracic pain since July 19. This twisting sprain like with stiffness and it happened after fall on the back. It's worse on raising the hand or jerk or turning and better by a hot bath. The abdomens, lot of fullness and bloating, better by gas, ailments from dal or in the morning and 6 p.m. Constipation since April 2020, there's no pressure at all, no satisfaction. Thirst also is less. So we tell him you must drink water, you must walk. He said, no, no, I walk. Of course, there's much less walking in the pandemic. Urinary bladder, he said, thickness has increased since 2005. So the flow is less and he has to wait before passing. He's on tablet film pass here. Hypertensive, amylodipin, he's taking 2.5 every day. Left vision is a little less. There's fogging of the lens and he was given steroid injections for that. And cravings for sweet, aversion to spices and So here is a structure. So he is, uh, you know, very perfectionist, desires order. He likes system. He's very impatient to get things done without any wasting time. So if he says he's coming here and in pandemic, we sometimes have to leave the medicine downstairs, pick it up. It's not there. He will phone. Uh, Dr. Fatima and said the medicine not there. Okay, we're giving it in five minutes. Doesn't like it. He that's very short tempered. We didn't see it, but he said he is brooding, very high spirited, very intelligent and impatient, does not like to repeat. He wants people to understand in one way. I'm quick to perceive and make quick judgments and opinion about someone, hence nobody can cheat me. Very affectionate, very sympathetic, and he feels the pain of others. You know, we have one rubric, na? so patient brother fell overboard, he could feel that pain. He hates dirt clothes, talking, habit, conduct also. So, you know, so fastidious, so orderly, so systematic. So you can see the difference between that patient, the previous case and this. Once you get things done without wasting, he doesn't like any waste in anything. So, yeah, and everything he will verify. He doesn't take anything at face value. He'll question it, verify it, and then only believe. And his only fear is of heights. Next. So he was born in 1940 in Bangalore. Father was an advocate. Mother was a housewife, but much ahead of her time. Not educated, but she learned English and Hindi. He was from South. She has three elder sisters, one younger sister, one elder brother, one younger brother. So they're four, five, six, and he's the same. Very inquisitive. As a child, he would ask lots of questions. And actually, that's why he was labeled disobedient and mischievous. Even today, he doesn't accept anything. He'll find out for himself. He stitches his own clothes. He loves clothes, new styles, and all new patterns stitched by self. He stays with his cousin, who's also single. They both are memories of an associate, members of an association. They live independently. They do all the work on their own. They don't have a maid. Next. So we took this back pain, turning, morning, Walking ameliorates, warmth ameliorates. He likes sweets, impatient, irritable, memory active. Next. Sympathetic, dance he loves, music he loves, company he loves, fear only of high places, artistic. See, the previous child also artistic, this also artistic. What was the difference? This fellow is in control of his life. So he's a cancer miasma. So travel desire to obstinate, has strong, fastidious, order desire for all kinds of order, waste hates, platulence we told you. Next. So here also, like in the previous case, we took so many rubrics and the whole thing was covered by customs. Can you see it clearly, please? Can you? I didn't ask you all which remedy you all already said. Most of you all said carcinosis. Yes, yeah. Tuberculinum. So why not tuberculinum? Tell me the difference. You tell me, then you know the difference between the two.
Yeah. So, ma'am, tubercle lignum is destructive. Yes. Dr. Shankar is saying the pace is also very fast. The tubercle lignum is restless, can't sit in one place. He has to change places. Ma am, ma am anger, anger is there. I think this Very true. Patient is in control of the situation. And in tuberculinum also, not by, you know, wanting appreciation, wanting good things said about him. And, you know, he tried little fools people, you know, like we showed in you uh, that nice man, how can he have done bad things? You know, that kind of charmer, tuberculinum. Carson is not a charmer. And, uh, you know, he's just straightforward. So people may even sometimes find him abrasive, you know, that he said things to the face. Tuberculin always coat and cover it up. And here he is much more, and he does. Tuberculin is not so hardworking, a little bit of a cheater kind of. No? Uh, so, yeah. So here he does everything himself and very caring. Tuberculin a little more selfish. This fellow is very caring. And so even the maid who comes for little, little work in the pandemic, they still send her money and food and whatever, you know, like trouble. So very generous like that. And so particular, so much hardworking. Tuberculinum, not so hardworking. He likes more to travel and do things and show off of a bit. Carcinosin, very little of a show off, right? Anything else? So very good, very good. Differentiation. Any other uh, thing? And the best is if you do both, you know, if you do that, if a repertory comes up so high and then you look at it, so is you can, you should always do all the things, never stick to one thing. Kingdom and all that appreciation, you may be completely wrong. And sometimes uh, the repertory and the kingdom don't match because those remedies are not there. No? These newer remedies may not come up. So if they come up, then you're really, really surprised. Like Mandragora came up. I mean, I was zapped. Yesterday, Raffinus came up. Very, very zapping. Fatima, you want to show them that uh, chart of yours? Yesterday, Raffinus. Hmm. Anything else? Differentiation. Anything else? No, ma'am. Dr. Shirshankar just said that tuberculinum and carcinosin are possible. cosmopolitan. Yeah, but tuberculinum much more so. It loves to travel, meet new, 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 new people. Carcinosin not so much. You know? uh, so, yeah. Anger. Yeah, much more anger in tuberculinum. Very true. Destructive, yes, very true. So, yeah. So, here's the follow up. So, he's been with us. Uh, he just wants support. So, he still, most of the time, we give him placebo. And uh, so, he got carcinos in 200 um, in, June, in June. And then, July, I gave him because he was better, but still backache. So, yeah, 1M we gave. Anyway, an also always better to give a 1M. Much better. The backache is completely gone except one spot there is pain. So that is in August 20. We told him to stop, but he said, no, little bit, I'll take support. So he still takes medicine. Most of the time we give him placebo. Next. This, is, uh, this we did. Na? So you saw the judge. I will show you the raffinous curve.
I told you this case, no? That's schizophrenia we gave raffinus to. And make it bigger. Dr. Fatima, at the end of the screen, if you could uh, see on the lower right side, if you could make it, you could see zoom. That, you know this arrow, if you can take 100, it is 100 percent. Maybe you can increase the zooming capacity so that the chart is more visible. Just one second. I'm not able to open my Zoom meeting. Yeah, plus now after this year. Okay, call out the rubrics now. Okay, the rubrics are mind psychological themes erotic. Sex, mind psychological theme sexuality, Middle East theme sexual, hatred mother for and sex gender aversion to her own, um, Middle East theme insanity, rectum constipation, stool bloody, Abdomen pain, urinate uh, with urging to. Abdomen pain, bladder urination, frequent night. So what are the remedies coming? You know this one, if you do right in the middle, you are. If you go this so side. I'm not able to open my Zoom meeting okay. box. Only. You don't need to open your Zoom meeting box. Just on the word screen that you are there. If yeah. you see on the lower right side, there is a bar 100% like to scroll to minimize or maximize on the extreme bottom of your yeah. like on the very right side I'm of let's open it again because this is not happening everything is just hanging Can you see now? No, we can't see at all. It is not shared yet. Okay. Finally, I can. Now? Yeah, it will come, but you have to double. Now, you still, now it is even smaller. You go here. Now it's gone below 50% also, see? On the right lower side. On the right lower side. Where so as soon as I uh, go into the share screen, then I cannot change the zoom. No, here, but you, I can't see you. No, no, down, down, down. Yes. Down, can... down. On the very end of your screen. Yeah, I am there. I am there on the No, plus you're screen. not there. You're up. Go down. I am down. That's what it's. Okay. Uh, Dr. Fatima, just a second. If you could give me. Yeah, this your uh, control to your this I can try once. You have to just give me the access. I did. It's not happening. That's what I'm saying. But it was at fifteen. Now it is not at fifteen. So anyway, raffinus is somewhere here. And it is showing nine. It was quite surprising. The others were all the usual remedies. And then we um, uh, just read up the fourth uh, of divinity and did all that. And it was exactly fitting. And actually been struggling with this case for a long, long time. So we just hope. So yes, so the question which came, do you do kingdom? Do you do this? I do I do everything. I do system. I do uh, I do system. I do repertory. I do whatever understanding I have of the old. As you know, I belong to two schools. So yeah, it is sometimes a little confusing for me. But uh, yeah, we manage. But it has opened up, you know, this myisms and this uh, new approaches has opened up so many remedies which you no know, chance that we knew about them. And this kind of result, we would have thought, uh, you know, something or the other, we would have thought result. That is the beauty of homeopathy. They, you have get results. 
people are with you and you keep on doing but they always be patient also say i know you will try and try till you get a result you know so they stay with you yeah so those were the no swords uh, both i did with you the no sword as a pacemaker i did as pure remedies only that no other remedy at all so that is very beautiful those are not very many cases few cases but those are interesting also there is a question ma'am when to use lm potency in a so i i use lm potency wherever i need to repeat a lot more in pains or where you know things are not improving with your single remedy sometimes only with your uh, now here in these cases if i just give two doses there is no question of going na especially in autistic schizophrenia i i do uh, tend to go to more uh, lm potency after giving the uh, potency uh, sentinel scale and where there are lots of pains you need to repeat every day then i go to it and they want to know about the book again <laughs> you want to see the book it's quite cute a little small book so you can uh, vipa doctor is here if she has some copy she can always take it it's a very nice book it's actually quite a sweet you know with draupadi and all it's very interesting she used to come up with what funny things you know this is draupadi and each of the fellows you can uh, i'll give you vipa doctor's number vipa you want to tell them and then uh, vipa you can mention your number on the chat box so that uh, people can contact you yeah so it is nice a small little book written long long ago so it's very cheap and uh, it's quite cute I st- you know i must tell you the story of this so we did um, you know we were little famous uh, uh, my mother and i for enacting the materia medica on stage you know so we did cpr lacases and you know many remedies like this these no sort sometimes we would dress like that when we did cpr lacases which was in oh, way way back in one international con- it was held in bhaida whole hall was full and uh, so i was of course you guess who was cpr who was like this tell me on stage yeah you are like a sis madam because you <laughs> so attractively <laughs> get ready <laughs> yeah so i was like a sis and i wore a blue sari and my mother was a cpr and she wore a brown sari and there was a beautiful uh, you know dialogue uh, who cares you know oh so bright and beautiful the day is like a sis said who cares about the day you know that's what cpr said it was quite fun and people still meet me and still remember somebody just asked me to talk about cpr lacases i said god i can't talk about it it's gone way beyond that i'm sorry i can't talk about it so and so this uh, no sort we have to print the little book and i told her yes i will do it i'm sh- i'm going to definitely do it this year i told her in 95 this was huh? i told her i will definitely do it and i didn't do it for a few months i mean i didn't do it she 94 and she died can you believe it she just got up and died one day nothing was wrong with her and whole life she had been saying if i die who will write your editorial you know i uh, i used to write a little brief and then she would make it a nice editorial if i die i said but you are not going to die for the next 25 years so why are you worrying about it but she just died so then i said who's going to write my editorial <laughs> and my friend chanda came from delhi and uh, then she wrote and she edited this book and by june she died in january by june i had finished i cried for three months and i said this won't do my husband slapped slapped me once and then said okay that's it you can't cry anymore and then i said okay so the next best thing i can do is to finish a book so i don't know if you all any of you all have read the memorial book so we brought two memorial books she was a prolific writer so uh, we brought out a english memorial and a gujarati also she was very good in writing so lots of um, authors she was in touch with so gujarati author they all wrote so we had a different gujarati memorial nothing common you know not nothing little common but very little common and they are very very and we printed some 10 20000 copies we just gave it away to everyone if can inspire even one person you know that would be very nice we may still have some copies because we did a reprint also 
So again, please do contact Dr. Vipa. And if she has copies, she'll give it to you. Yeah, you must read. So that's it for the day. Any questions I'm willing to answer. And Dr. Shivashankar has raised his hand again. Sir, you could unmute uh, yourself. Uh, madam, I had a few general doubts, madam. Majority of the attributes of drugs, like uh, uh, this patient is very artistic, fastidious, majority of the attributes, they are not seen in the proving symptoms, the original yeah. material medicas. My doubt is the attributes are clinically verified consistently. Yes, yes. They are clinically verified and lots have been written. You, I mean, actually, I've taken uh, many lectures on carcinosin and, uh, you know, I have lots of, uh, uh, lots of uh, different, different authors saying different, different things. And carcinosin is really like this. You're talking about in the in the old books, there's nothing much, just a no sword, and there was nothing much. But after the, after you had so many new authors, uh, and even some of the old authors have written lots of work on it. Uh, madam, right. uh, madam, not only regarding carcinogen, madam, but regarding other drugs. Huh. Like sulfur is very intelligent, like mm -hmm. a person is intelligent, phosphorus is lively, bubbly, very vibrant. These symptoms. But when, in, in practice, when we are seeing these expressions, we are getting good results with the remedies. Mm. But these uh, expressions were not seen in the proving. Uh, I felt somewhere mm. majority of the drug pictures uh, mm. are clinically verified consistently. Mm. Uh, this doubt I had, I wanted to ask you from your experience. So, uh, you know, proving have been done in different ways. Na? So, and the provings have been repeated also. So, we have not all read all the proving. So, we must do, and then some. there is some such thing as clinically verified symptoms, right? So, when we, uh, yeah, when we uh, treat a patient, like for example, this patient you treat, all his traits you will take into your next case, na, into consideration. Yes, ma'am. So that's how our own materia medica grows. Each time a patient gets well, you take all of that into you. Like uh, I remember 40 years ago, uh, you know, when I was in ICR studying still. And uh, anyway. so that time I did a magnesium. You, my magnesium is a chimera of natrium and calcarium. And then craving for salt of magnesium was not done. So I did a clinical proving. I got a patient and for whom there was a craving for salt and which became less so I called it a clinical symptom. So then it got incorporated into my magnesium to understand it, right? And today with, uh, you know, correspondence is such a big thing. Even when we are doing all these various uh, kingdoms, uh, we always say, okay, this is a magnesium, but this is not a mineral. So what is it? So if we know the correspondence in the plant kingdom and in the animal kingdom, if it's like a calcare, you know, calcarea line, maybe some molars, whatever. So then, then it opens up for us so much that we got just stuck. If that remedy in the old days, we got stuck. If that remedy didn't work, we would say remedy relationship. So our next issue actually is on remedy relationship. And Dr. Rama said, why don't we add to that correspondences? Because that is also a remedy relationship. So we are going to try and do both of uh, that together. Because then we went back to remedy relationships and then there are books, of course, there. And then they say that this, if this works, this works, goes after it, and then this intercurrent. But if you can get a correspondence, so really we have grown so much. I feel that all the masters we have today, we must be really thankful. And nobody should say Hanuman, Hanuman. Hanuman himself would have done all this, right? If he had been alive, he would have done so much. And if we had had the LM potency before, we would have done so much. So that's why we know different, sometimes a different case requires only pathological prescription. We have a cancer. Then you go only by those symptoms and go by that. And then if you have something like a mental symptom, you have to go beyond everything else. No? Madam, I, have, I had one more doubt, madam. That's also in general. Since I have got an opportunity to speak to you, madam, with your experience, uh, Madam, I have been asking one doubt, even from the NGH group also, the Telegram group also. Okay. Is there is there any anything called exact similimum? Or once we take the case, we once we analyze the case, we go from patient to drug, the most closest remedy. 
among it the group of uh, drugs in our meter medica to that we call it as simili sorry i don't understand your question is there anything called exact simili mum in homeopathy oh. are the most closest remedy to that only we call as a simili mum oh. sometime actually there is an exact simili so if you get an exact simili mum that is the time you get results like this and it is rare it doesn't happen every day if you get it once a week you should be ecstatic actually i always say that it doesn't happen and luckily for actually we are lucky because you know uh, even even the one which are close 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 coming closer closer we get result otherwise why would every homeopath get a result every homeopath gets a result right there nobody who said they don't get a result so if it was only exact similimum which was then homeopathy would have died long ago so even if you're similar and in in that circle then it works and that is why actually how we follow in icr we have acute chronic intercurrent you know we follow that kind of a system it's helped us so much because if something is not covered by the acute you know by the chronic covers it and the intercurrent close so between the three of them they cover the whole thing so it is it was a much very useful kind of a system we followed and then if you get a exact similimum like these are exact these two cases for all three cases are exact every symptom fits in or when we study today so many cases we get exact so many people get exact but if you don't you change that's fine but if you don't get exact also you get a result but this kind of a result where everything gets resolved and you don't need to repeat the remedy much at all or say once a month or once in six months or once a year is like phenomenal at this carcinosin fellow i'm not six months i've not given him i'm giving him placebo he's coming he's taking it then sometimes every three months we say okay one dose we'll give now something is happening some covid some you know then we give one dose to keep his immunity up but he is not fallen sick at all in these two years the pain has not come back at all he also saying okay i am 80 82 whatever i am today i take something which keeps my immunity up right so you give the medicines okay yeah uh, there is one more question by sir uh, many times arsenic phosphorus carcinogen staphylococcus natremule come so close how to everywhere remedies come close only na so that's why we know now arsenic phosphorus belong to mineral kingdom that is a no so staphylococcus belong to plant so it, it just just trying to understand whether your plant or mineral or animal takes away some of your thing and then of course you see which which myosin they belong to so each one has myosin no each of the remedies now have myosin so you do that that itself is such a big thing for me you know this biggest thing was if i gave staphylococcus i had mortification i would give staphylococcus and i would never think of pulsatilla okay because pulsatilla is so different but after understanding that they all belong to the ranunculaceae and according to the myosin you can give pulsatilla if it is much more you know psychotic and not so cancer myosin then it would makes life so much freer that the the group has all these symptoms everyone has so then it they know that itself is not a differentiation and then you go by uh, whatever myism or specific or sometimes you have a really characteristic you know symptom so like that sister can I, i told you that kid so if you have sour and cheese and that kind of craving where he says i cannot do without it then you give it it works so even the cravings they are very specific Um, there is a question related to miscarriage. Uh, yeah. What potency would you consider in a patient with miscarriage, and how frequently should the patient take the prescribed remedy? See, I miscarriage? I give I give a little more uh, than some people I know that uh, they give only once a month and all. But I may I call mostly patient once a week or once in two week. So if I feel they are not, I will repeat one dose, you know, one dose till you get some kind of a result. now sometimes you just have uh, in fact i have another mandragora case uh, which i really wanted to do with you but she said no 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 don't do mandragora no so i did it so i have this beautiful mandragora case uh, in fact you should read uh, this this issue i have given one case of her, this person's mother in law 
but this lady girl came to me and the mother in law was so bad to her that she just she just abused her and abused her and you know and cursed her and luckily we gave her mandragora to that uh, daughter in law and she could withstand the mother in law and just takes things calmly doesn't uh, you know just says hello how are you and then puts the phone down or gives it to the husband and doesn't interact with her but fortunately again the son seeing the improvement in the daughter and the wife he brought the mother to us and again amazingly we she was a terrible woman she used to fight with everybody and we were given an anacardiacy and it is the case is there in this particular uh, issue so you all must also read the issues you know right now we have a scheme na, because some big donation came so a life membership is only costing 6000 which is for like 25 years forever so you all must read because everybody even musings rise for us TOS rights for us, you know, other groups rights for us. So you will get such a wide variety of issues. Then we have some twenty, thirty articles, so they are nice. And uh, so this this was on anacardiacy, and we had given her anacardium to that mother-in-law who was a horrible woman. Actually, she may not have been originally so horrible, but her husband abused her so much that she became the abuser. She said, "I didn't even shed one tear when my husband died." and then she used to fight with everybody lived alone and she had terrible pain she had to be whole day sitting with her legs stretched out and just little bit work she would do then again sit down and she improved in two weeks with anaka and she is gone now to wherever kashi to for a trip she now been and plus she become good to the daughter in law so it is so amazing those kind of results come with the exact same and they don't come with a near sin clear but that doesn't mean that we can get exact similarity always but we have to try try so okay, if today i can say it you can also say it right? so if you get similarity that you're you know very happy very good and keep trying sometimes we don't understand also why this patient is like that why we can't find the remedy we know we understand but we can't find the remedy yes ma'am so in a patient with a miscarriage no i do i i uh, uh, you know if the mind and body i go by shankaran's uh, levels of things so if you have mind and body then i give 200 if you have only dream so much then 1m of course 10m i don't use so much uh, at all because i find by this it gets covered and then sometimes i use the tenem so according to that uh, you know the levels of uh, experience i go by that and so if you have any one for a miscarriage whatever is the remedy but for miscarriage or for uh, for example for uh, irregular periods dub those kind of pcod i sometimes with the single dose it don't work then i give remedies from the day 3 or 4 till the 14th ovulation day and repeat every day in lm potency and then see if the you know period comes on time yeah yes ma'am i guess uh, we have done with the questions and maybe we can call it a day today yes thank you so very much thank you so much thank you ma'am actually your energy your uh talks are so contagious like we are also feeling so much energized seeing your cases and feeling more inspired every day like you should come more often on musings and it would Not be to come, i come for your thing i've come for lots of your things but sometimes yes. too many then i cannot come yeah <laughs> you can timing is also like that too to for i need yeah. <laughs> a little bit <laughs> morning work i have to sleep for an hour then again start in the evening so <laughs> there is a question for you are you going to do anything on vaccine detox any time no i have not thought about it at all so i'm not doing anything <laughs> but it was really a wonderful session ma'am and thinking about nozodes in such a way like they could heal a person from within or they could like have you told them that they are they could be the pacemakers we never thought about them we only think of mostly using them as an intercurrent or whenever we are stuck 
we only think of them at that time but there is so much more to them and they are they have so vast actions on our body it was really interesting to learn and the book of course it was very cute and again it was very nice to remember with those all picture presentations it was re- it is really nice even i had fun reading it again i haven't read it in a long time uh, so you all i read it again i really enjoyed it it was so good nice right okay. and the memorial book you all must share and all of you must become members of in the age of course manali is and it is the music is and everybody is but it's good thank you so much all of you i really enjoyed the essay question answer it's always nice to interact i don't like i don't like some of these platforms where you feel you are alone and talking you can't see a soul and you can't hear a soul i can't do it i need a lot of <laughs> interaction <laughs> so there my lectures go very dull you know i feel dull <laughs> yes ma'am definitely interaction is always nice you come up we also learn again so many things from other people their perspectives and everything right thank you so much ma'am and thank you for space maker of the material yeah no zords the space makers of our materia medica i'll i'll put it on the group again yeah it has put the numbers and i have put dr vibha's number also on the chat box if you all need to contact dr vibha for the book or the memorial issue uh you can contact dr vibha sha okay yeah. thank you so much ma'am bye bye everybody See bye everyone soon. have a good day good evening thank you ma'am good morning to the people thank there. you madam welcome welcome good morning good night good, good <laughs> yeah, all people all the time zones for us those who all have joined today thank you so much you think is very nice so congratulations on completing two years is quite amazing yes. and uh, you know these times the difficult time to finish two years is really like nice yeah. but actually i don't know i don't know how you look at it but i actually thank the uh, lockdown okay i this whole thing of because we could have never come otherwise we were doing it just in our clinic in the oh, no. with yeah. four to five people with us and now we are such a huge family yes. like minded people together and every day every sat like we look forward to this first and third saturdays like yeah. there is it's something really nice so you all are first and third and we are second and fourth huh nj yeah right. so it's really <laughs> glad, glad that we don't organize it well <laughs> with glad we don't clash <laughs> yeah. the timing also don't clash we are seven to nine but yeah. uh, uh, but you know they are around day. and then we were just doing one seven seminar a year and of course bringing out the issue but now we have the telegram group and we have every right. tuesday and we have this uh, every you know twice a month and we have so many things happening not only that but even it it freed us of practice no i'm so long so much i'm still practicing from you know one place and going to the clinic less because i'm go when the days i go i only go and see patients who i really need to see everybody is still calling me on zoom so why am i going you know and uh, right. yeah so it it really freed us we never have thought of you know leaving our clinic and still continuing our practice in the same way and zoom and whatever platforms have been really good for us and the lockdown has taught us so much you know really taught us so much how we should uh, treat our earth how we should treat uh, be you know responsible and that we really deserve to get this and it is may it made us also free na like i don't know if you know anything about kengen water but uh, kengen water has freed my life so much it's a alkaline water and it's a machine actually uh, like a, like you have aqua garden but it has seven waters and it has one acid water called 2.5 acid water i have used no chemical uh, sterilizer at all and i spray that water because it's water i can spray anywhere in any lift i go any chair i go i don't sit without doing it and i have not done anything i have not even been vaccinated and i am just free very good. so yeah so so many things i learned during the lockdown that i'm very happy about. okay then bye. we can talk endlessly so i will just quickly yes. go okay bye okay bye ma'am bye 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 everyone.